So this is the electrics box that I've um, designed for housing electronics that can control the heat bed. I'll put a link where you can download it. You can make your own. I've only printed it with PLA. Nice choice of colour A really. But it's what I had to hand. Didn't really matter. The box holds the electrics. So these are the components that are inside. I'll put links to them all in the description. Switch pack, kettle type switch. I don't know what you use in the US, maybe you use these. But it seems a simple explanation. Solid state relay meets the specifications as specified for the heat bed. This one will do voltages in the states because the output is 24 to 380 volts so that will cover pretty much anything you want to do. And lastly a little cooling fan because there is a heat sink on the back of this. I'm also going to need four small self tapping screws to screw the lid down. Four M4 machine screws for the fan, 15mm long. Two screws for the switch. The bottom one is a bit awkward to get to because it's underneath. So I've made that 20mm long and the top one 6mm long. And the two screws for the relay which I've left at full length, they're 40 mil long. Uh, guys in the States, you'll just have to convert those figures, do a work around, I'm sure you can um, manage that. These are a lot longer than they need to be really, but I figure they will serve as part of a heat sink. Now the shorter ones, I um, I cut, so all my screws came at 40 mil long, like that. Um, I've just cut them with a pair of cutters. If you don't realise, most people have got a pair of normal crimping pliers kicking about, or you can pick these up generally anywhere. But a lot of people don't realise that in here you've got a set of threaded holes and the idea of them are is they're actually shears so what you do is you put your your bolt in no always put the head on the threaded side because the other side is just a hole and then you can just shear them off. And you get a nice clean chopped head. So control box is all together, fan in. Put some feet on the bottom, don't really need them. The um, reason I'm not showing you the inside is purely simply because I'm not an electrician. I don't want anybody really copying my wiring. I will put a schematics in the credits, just a, a picture. I strongly recommend you get an electrician to check make sure it's applicable to any rules and regs that are in your country but basically 
cable coming out goes to the printer which is the standard cable we chopped off and we have got the cables coming out from the bed to the printer now I'm putting an earth on which I'll put on the screw with a little ring connector I'm going to put one on there and I've got another earth here which I will screw to the frame purely simply because everything's been DC before can't really hurt you too much but now we've got AC so just in case there is a problem I want it covered um, the power connector that I mentioned the DC one that, um, <coughs> the reason I'm using that is because it's just turned up literally in the post I've got a twin connector lead that comes from one power source so in the UK obviously it's going to be proper plug other countries use something different you can use two leads if you want whatever they're quite popular but um, I decided just to save plug space where I've got it I got a splitter that would then feed both the control box and this box here so I'm just about to store the um, bed onto the printer um, but one of the problems I had with the old one is these screws just sit, they're countersunk screws and there's nothing actually secures them to the to the bed plate so I found that sometimes if you had a light spring pressure they would just turn as you were trying to adjust the bed so what I've done is I've put four little nuts on each thread just lightly nip them up and I've put a little bit of Loctite or locking fluid on the thread as well just to stop them vibrating loose which I shouldn't do anyway but just a little bit of fluid and I've just, just nipped them so I'm going to put this on now putting the earth rings on I've decided to use a crimp and glue type which is this type if you, um, if you see them in the shops it's up to you but I just feel that it would give a, a better bond and help with the chances of them coming loose so having crimped it on with these ones it's warm them up Ideally you want a hot air, hot air gun but I haven't got one to hand so I'm not going to be too fast and this will do plenty good enough. Gentle warm up and it all shrinks up. Okay so we're all assembled now. Let's show you what we got power lead and that comes up to the little splitter which is just there one lead goes into the back of the unit one lead goes in the back of the control box so this lights up until it's working I should tell say it tells you you've got mains power So uh, let's flicker on and um, moment of truth, I think. Put it at the standard 60 C 
start with. Then we took quite a while to get up to that even. Oh, fans away. And yeah. The lights illuminate to say that it's working. So you can see the Get more ready. Oh, <laughs> blimey, that's quick. Oh, that is really quick. That is so quick. It's up to temperature already. Yeah, that is that is hot, and it's cut out already. Yep, that's it. Lights gone out. Fan stopped because the fan is wired up to the 12 volt circuit, which feeds the relay. As soon as the relay cuts in, fan cuts in to keep it cool. She goes again. And that popped up to sixty two degrees, sixty one degrees, sixty degrees now. 59 degrees fifty eight degrees on nine sixty degrees sixty one off sixty two degrees I am very impressed with that. And after running for about a minute or so now, it's almost like the control box has actually learnt how quick the bed temperature warms up. Because it's gone to very short bursts now. So I get 59, slap it on, off. So it's almost adapted to the on-off cycle of the heat unit. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Whether there is any sort of adaption processes in it. Anyway, so we've got the power leads at the back, there's loads of length on these. Um, and take so then the generic one coming out of the box straight into the back of the control unit. I've got my earth there which goes onto the bottom of the screw. It's not ideal, but it's pressed up against the nut with the spring holding it against so hopefully. If there was a problem, it would sense any problems and blow the trip. Um, and we've got the um, second earth coming out of the control unit, and I've got it earthed on the side frame, pinched up tight. Again, not super perfect, but it should be good enough. Um, that's an adjustable Z stop. Um, because I've got the bed raised right up high, I wanted a better adjustable one. Far better. So, there you go.
Thanks for watching.